Hi guys, welcome back to the wood turning section of my YouTube channel. We're actually in my shack slash shed slash workshop. <laughs> um, today we're just looking at some wood that's been drying for a while. This particular piece has been drying about eight months. It's a piece of ash. Quite a nice piece of ash as well. Decent size. It's about 13 inch in diameter. Maybe slightly larger. It's got some uh, some decent stuff going off in it. As ash goes, you know, it's not a stupendously good looking wood, but you know, it'll make a nice ball. I uh, I may rub some of the some of the antiquing wax into it actually that enhances the grain shows the grain off I may give uh, that a go on this one just to lift it up a bit other than that this one's at uh, I think this one's now down to 11% so it's actually ready for finished turning so we'll put that in the ready pile right I'll show you couple more pieces piece of beech there we go smallish piece approximately 9 inch 10 inch in diameter this is dry down to about 11 percent I I call them dry when they get down to about 12 percent that's that's uh, what I finished turn at 12% there's so a knot there with a void in it the void I'll fill in with the brass powder or bronze powder and super glue same with the cracks a lot of people will be thinking oh look at all the cracks the cracks mean nothing to me in fact to be honest the cracks I can take advantage of I fill them in with uh, with powder with brass powder or uh, bronze powder or copper powder even aluminium powder and you can make a feature out of a crack rather than throw a piece away I think basically I'm just a skin flint um, or what you might know me as a tight ass. I don't like throwing wood away so those cracks I can turn from a defect into a feature I hate throwing good wood away in fact I hate throwing bad wood away right so another a look at something else beach is just a bog standard wood we get loads of it here in the UK it's about one of our most common woods one of our most cheap woods as well but it can still make good turning Ooh. this is actually uh, the ash bowl that we've just been looking at this was the core taken out as I say just your bog standard ash I'll maybe try and take advantage of the grain and uh, rub some black antiquing wax in there and then finish it with the clear wax just to show off the grain but as I say that would have normally been turned onto the floor it would normally be shavings but I've got a coring uh, apparatus you might say for coring large bowl blanks and uh, it's, I think it's already paid for itself I've had it about two, two and a half, maybe three year now and uh, whereas I'd get one bowl out of a, a piece and now get two or three and it does save on money you know wood's expensive these days I'd rather be making stuff and getting enjoyment out of it rather than just sweeping it up off the floor 
Right, we'll call this video it guys, and we'll probably catch you on another one. I have a few more pieces I want to show you first, but uh, on the next video. Catch you in a bit guys, cheers.